Welcome to App Design Tips. I'm here at Adobe Max and we're showing off Photoshop on the iPad here. So I have a document open that I don't know who designed this, but it's been open. So I'm going to show you some of the things you can do on Photoshop on the iPad. We have our tools, everything to manipulate our layers here. We got the paintbrush, we have a paint bucket fill, spot healing brush, things like that to put pixels on the canvas. And we have our layers here. So if we pinch in right here on our layers, we have a simplified layers view that makes us just really drill into our canvas and focus on what we're designing. If we want to go right back into the detailed layer view, we can pinch out and we can see all of our masks. We can see our adjustment layers and things like that. So I want to just walk you through the capabilities and power of Photoshop. So we have just a layered image right here. We can hide and show that background layer. And then we have a color balance on this layer, and I can show and hide that as well. If we want to change the color balance, since this is a, an adjustment layer, we can tap on the properties here, come over here, and we have our red or our cyan, magenta, things like that. So we can change really the hue and the color balance here. And we also have our exposure. So if we want to change the exposure of that background image and just match this to the exposure of this foreground image. And I see over here on the foreground image, this is the image right here, there's some masking done here as well, so we can hide and show that. We also have this mask applied to it, so now if we want to use our Apple Pencil and just paint in black right here, we can hide different shapes. You can see the deeper that I scribble, the more we're going to mask out that foreground shape. And if we toggle over to our white color, we can fill that back in. So our layer masking works really nice. And let's go back in. We've got hue and saturation adjustment layers. We've got this nice little butterfly. And what's really cool is this transform tool right here. So if we want to move our butterfly over, we can also use free transform here if we want to reshape things however we want to reshape them. Let's say that we're making it fly off here into the distance. We're just reshaping the angle of this butterfly. And it's moving forward into the mist. So that's not perfect, but you kind of get the point. I'll tap done here. And we have some other uh, layer selections. Anytime you want to work with blending with your layers, that's this uh, layers property right here. We have blend modes for overlays. We can add clipped adjustment layers if we want to just adjust and isolate just the butterfly layer. We can use that clip adjustment to change the hue, the color. So let's do that. Let's go over to butterfly. We're going to tap on butterfly here. And we're going to add a clipped adjustment layer. Let's change the hue and saturation. It's green right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be like, okay, oh, I'll hold it like this. <laughs> and so we can change the hue here. You can see how the color of that butterfly just really changes the saturation. We can make that uh, black and white. We can change the lightness. And so you can vary, you can add some very complex composites here. And you can go ahead and share your document here if you want to airdrop it to someone or if you want to text it. You've got PNG, JPEG, PSD, TIFF. And the cool thing here is everything that I've done here, if we tap on home right here, it saves it in the Creative Cloud. So I can jump right back in my desktop for some of the more powerful tools. It'll be right there waiting for me. Within seconds, it saves really fast. And so you can jump back on your iPad and you can work on the same document. Once you close it there, automatically saved, jump right back into your iPad too. So you have the Wacom tablet benefits, the stylus benefits here, while still having the desktop creativity if you want to jump into your desktop. So Photoshop for iPad, it's really awesome. And if you're interested in learning Photoshop for iPad, I have a course. I'm going to leave a link in the description below with a steep discount if you're interested in taking that course and learning all there is to know about Photoshop on the iPad.